welcome PML fan. I am your host Joe Zamore here and I am bringing you week 8 of the PML draft. And we are here facing off against some from the other division. Week 8 is where um, one division gets to play a team from the other division. We got uh, paired up with some and he is the coach of the uh, Crushing Salvali. That's right. So, um, we will be battling him. Uh, he does have a sand team, which is scary sometimes. But, you know, we have our own sand abuser. So, if he brings sand, it's going to kind of play into our hands. Just like he did earlier this season, hopefully. Um, so, I, I mean, I can always take advantage of uh, sand myself. I'm trying not to max uh, rock this week. Trying to use it more as a breaker. Um, I, I do, well, Surfetch is also just a breaker. I'm not focused on a specific Maximon this week is basically what I'm saying. And, um, he didn't bring the sand, but he did bring Excadrill. Uh, I am Jin to be, uh, one speed faster than Excadrill. I didn't expect Absol, so that's an interesting play. The Lazo didn't come, so Incineroar is probably, um, uh, going to be just for slow poke slow king now so this will be an interesting match let's go ahead and lead off uh, what do i want to lead off um i'm going to lead off hellraiser it's uh just here to kind of hit things and i kind of want to see what he's going to lead if he leads soft we just hit that thing If he leads Excadrill, I'm assuming it's Scarf. If he leads Sylveon, we back out to Incineroar. So, let's see. Good luck. Have fun, some. Let's get into this battle. Haxorus is the lead. So, good thing we led uh, Dragapult here. We're just going to Draco Meteor. We do not want this thing to get set up. So, let's try to Oko this thing with Draco Meteor. If he switches to Sylveon, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Predictable, but, you know, can't be too safe. So, it's not Scarf, or else he would have just swung. So, Sylveon comes in for free. Uh, we can go, we can go, Notorious B.I.G. is actually a good middle ground play. It's uh, both special defensive and physically defensive, so it can pretty much tank anything. Unless Sylveon gets energy ball, then that's a problem. Go beyond get energy ball. Nope, nope. Oh, it gets magical leaf. But I don't think he brought it. So I'm gonna go sludge wave. He goes toxic, which is a good play. But we're gonna get a big sludge wave off. It is uh physic I'm sure it's specially defensive. The sludge wave does a good chunk. It does a fourth. But now we're on a timer. And now that we're on a timer, that's uh, going to make Notorious B.I.G. less of a threat here. Um, I'm going to go Earth Power this turn, just in case he tries to go to Excadrill. But note, there goes uh, Hyper, Hyper Voice again. Get another good chunk. Oh, it's a critical hit. And it just keeps healing. We get health back. And poison's probably gonna put us in range of the hyper hyper voice knockout. But if I could just chip this thing, that's perfect. So I'm just gonna go sludge wave again. Oof, that's that's not good. 
the sludge wave comes off. Can we get a poison? Nope. Okay. So it's gonna proudly protect here. I'm gonna recover. Predicting the protect. Oh, it goes hyper void. No, I knew it could knock us out. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, so Sylveon's a problem. We did not bring steel cover for it. I'm gonna go to great. And I'm gonna iron head it. Try to get a flinch. We are salt vested, so nothing should hurt us. We could go toxic again. Oh, it's faster. The hyper voice comes off. He sees how much damage it does. We go iron head. Ooh, that two shot. So does he switch here? Is the question. Well, actually, it might live another hit because of the leftovers. But I'm going to go knock off on the off pant. He switches. If he stays in, at least we get rid of the leftovers. All right, so Haxers comes in. Ooh, knockoff does a bunch of damage, and it's choice banded. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna go golden chick here. I doubt he has dragon dance on this thing, and golden chick's pretty bulky, and I don't want to lose the uh, incineroar just yet. Close combat. All right, so that hurts. But now we just go for close combat ourselves. We could just hit everything with close combat. It's gonna hurt. We are Scarf, so we're pretty much faster than everything. Oh, he switches. Hard switch to Sylveon. Oh, he goes to Sock. Can we two shot Sock? I'm sure we can. Ooh, yes. Now, is he choice Scarf Sock? Because he's ran that before. We're about to find out. Oh, yeah. He's Choice Scarf himself. All right. So, now we know he's Choice Scarf Sock. We go to Hellraiser here because he's going to have to switch. And what will be the best middle ground play? I think Shadow Ball. go with yeah, let's go shadow ball he goes sylveon we do a big chunk he goes hacker good middle good middle play for him he's gonna go ahead and let this thing go down and we're just trading mons right now all right so hacksters goes down here we lose some HP. Now he knows we're life orbs. And if he goes back to Sock, we definitely switch. He goes to Absol. And even then we switch because we ain't taking a sucker punch. We're going to great. He probably goes play rough though. Expecting the switch. But after the Intimidate drop, I'm sure we live too. And then we Drain Punch the next turn. Oh, it's maxing. All right. Here we go. 
So I shouldn't have worried about the sucker punch. <laughs> Apple goes big. What does it do, Max Starfall? No, Max Airstream. Uh oh. Can we live another one? That's the question. Um, I think we go Rusted Wing here. We go Rusted Wing and we just roost until this thing's not Dynamax anymore. Oh, he went Max Knuckle. So now it's back to uh, base. I'm going to go Hellraiser here so it doesn't get another Max Knuckle off. And if he goes something else, fair enough. Yeah, Max Dark. Shit. Oh, nice play. Alright, so now he's faster. He has, um, he's going to be back at negative one attack, so we should be able to live the next hit. I wonder what uh, attack, uh, fighting move he has. But I mean, if he takes us out here, we pull the trigger with Lycanroc. So I'm going to go uh, Drain Punch here. He does have close combat. All right, so now Lycanroc cleans up this game, I think. The Lone Wolf comes in. And, ooh, we don't have a rock type move. We cannot get our own sand up. Woo, that's a problem. That's a problem. Why didn't I, why didn't I think of that? Okay, I'm going to go Max Knuckle here. So we're not going to be able to outspeed Sock. <clears throat> not going to be able to outspeed Sock. All right. We'll get plus one. We should be able to knock out the floating after that. Depending on how much defense investment you put into it. Yeah, doesn't look like he has a lot of investment in defense. Uh, probably just max HP. But now he knows we are uh, life orb. We're going to go for the max darkness here. He withdrew. He goes Sylveon. That's fine. Ah, uh, we should have packed the rock type move. Sylveon down to a little bit of health, so I'm gonna go for a Max Knuckle again. But Sox just comes in and revenge kills us. I think we lose. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, that's what I get for not packing a, a rock type move, expecting him to bring his sand. Well, Sylveon goes down. We are plus two attack. If somehow, some way, we're faster than Sock, that'd be great. But I don't think that's the case. So Sox just comes in here and he just cleans us out. Oh, Excadrill. Okay. Well, at least we'll get preserved some differential here. You know what? Instead, I'm going to go Rusted Wing. And I'm going to go Stealth Rock. Because Excadrill can't touch Rusted Wing. 
And if he stays in and we go Stealth Rock, Sock is dead on switching, and then uh, Lycan Rock cleans up after that. Unless this thing's Scarf, which I'm sure it is, because he, he was very adamant when he went into it. So he could be running double Scarf. Sock, don't be Sock. Anything, there we go. I'm cool with that. So Sock is dead on re-entry. Uh, I think we just roost. Roost, Brave Bird, Roost, Brave Bird, Roost, Brave Bird till the cows come home. Alright, Skull comes off. Uh, I mean... I'm just going to keep roosting. He has to make a play here. Keep your sight. So one turn I'll take double attack. I'm just going to... I'm clicking fast because I know I'm kind of stalling. But... Uh, oh, I'm faster? Oh, that must have been speed ties. That was weird. Okay. I'm just, you know... I'm just clicking. Roost! Sorry, some. I know this is kind of shitty of me to do. But I, I do want to try to win. I do have a chance to win. I just got to stall out your stall turn. But I at least am making uh, the fastest plays I can. I mean, even if it goes to timer, you win. So, I, I got to try and win this. So I am sorry if I'm just prolonging the inevitable, but um, I got to try. Because I don't think I one-shot with, uh, I don't think I one-shot you with Lycanroc. You know what? That's fine. I'm brave birding here. And if Excadrill is Scarf, so be it. Now nah, we got burned anyway. I don't want to prolong the battle. I mean, I could have tried, but I it's no point. Let's just... Uh, I, I should have switched in on a Future Sight turn with Lycanroc. Is what I should have done. So I was just spamming Roof for no damn reason. Um, now I'm going to go Crunch. Take it out. Not even close. And Skull probably takes us out here. Yep, there we go. GG to some. Um, we still make playoffs. Um, will we be first place? Probably not after that loss. Uh, but, you know, GG guys. GG some. I really expect you to bring the sand for me, and you didn't. You left it at home, and I didn't pack a rock move. So I played myself, um, but not taking anything away from Sum's victory there. That was a great game plan. He brought Scarfers instead of Sand, and it evidently beat me. So GG to Sum. We'll see you guys in the playoffs.